All right, what's happening, Real Filmers? I'm here at the Community Awards, and I have here with me media extraordinaire Mark Clark. How you doing, my friend? And I have here Channel 5 uh, anchor Allison Seymour. Hi, nice to Hi, finally meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, well, first, uh, I have to say, what, what is it like to be at this event? You know, first off, congratulations that you guys are being honored today. Um, but what is it like to be at this event that, you know, has a good cause, that the, the money that's being raised is going towards something that's, you know, positive? Well, we have three kids of our own, mm. and so we, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have three kids, and we were very blessed that those kids are uh, don't have any health challenges to get over, um, emotional challenges to get over, and we just we know that that's not a, a given, and so we don't take that for granted at all. And I think because of that, it's our duty to do whatever we can to uh, bring awareness to organizations like the March of Dimes and other organizations that look to help the lives of these precious children who just need a little more help. So the, the commitment for us is, is personal. And it's an honor, it's an honor. I think, you know, we both are committed to bettering the community and, you know, anything we can do to do that, we're, we're all about that, you know? Okay, all right, awesome. Uh, so is this the first time that you guys have had an opportunity to do an event with Capstone Media, or is this a, a first time thing? So. Is it? Well, I, I think it is. I think right? it might be. Uh, For me, yeah, it I think, is. It, 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 I think it is. I'm not sure though. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Right. Well, so well, how do you guys find the time to, to do you know events like this? I mean, Allison, you know, you you know you're constantly you know busy with Channel Five, and I know with with the media, you know, you're constantly busy. How do you find? I mean, I know it's it, it's something that you guys enjoy doing, but how do you find the time to kind of prioritize and kind of make sure that you're able to make functions like these. Well, good thing you didn't have the microphone just 20 minutes ago in the car, but <laughs> I think, you know, I think, again, we understand the importance of it. And it's, it, you know, that's a great question because you're right, making the time with the kids and the other responsibilities is a challenge, but I think at the end of the day, we understand the importance of it, so we make time to make time, right. which you have to do in anything that you do. Anything that you do, it's about prioritizing. And I think that both Mark and I are very conscious of the fact that without the support of the community, so it's ironic, we are getting a community award um, of for involvement because without the community, we would be nothing at all, you know. And the, the business that we're in is extremely fickle. And the second that, um, you know, you fall out of favor for whatever reason, is the second that it's time for you to move on to a different um, area and find uh, find work. That's just how it is right. in this business. It's a ratings-driven, um, you know, how the public views you type of business. But all with all of that said, you find time to make, as you said, make time for things that are important. And we consider this an important event, and, and so we're here. And the one thing I will say that I love about being married to Allison is finding. Uh, someone who has the same belief system. I think we are both dedicated to the community. So while we're in glamorous fields that a lot of people want to get into, I think if you stripped all that away, you find two people who really care about, when we're on uh, our platform, if we can change and, be and better someone's life, that's the most important oh aspect. Goodness. And I think that's the part that that's worth it. I love being married to, to my wife. Okay, yeah. well, last final uh, side question. I know that there was a, a, a marathon or a run that was happening today. <laughs> Were you involved? <laughs> Did you have a chance to do that or no, participate in that today? My, um, I, financial, I contributed financially <laughs> okay. and um, support. We have a group from Channel 5 that was running. Right, and so right. so uh, my part was to help uh, give some money <laughs> and to root them on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a runner, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, you know, that that um, cause was the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and cancer and other illness. It's another thing. It just robs vibrant people and it cuts their lives short. And that there's nothing sadder than that to me when you hear that a mom or a dad or whomever, you know, is is their life has been cut and short. You experienced it with your grandfather. And, oh my goodness, yeah. I, I lost, I, you know, we've all lost family members to cancer. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, so I had to pull my checkbook out. Couldn't pull my tennis shoes out. <laughs> yeah, and plus I would have been too tired to be here tonight. You got to pick and choose. There you go, <laughs> priorities. Yeah. Uh, well, there you have it, Real Filmers. Uh, thank you guys again and enjoy, enjoy the awards. All right. Nice to meet you. You too.